coming to you from the 49th running of the General Motors Cup and the 50th anniversary of Seafair atop beautiful Lake Washington in Seattle. Hi everybody, Rich Hollenberg here. Thanks for tuning in. The big story this weekend is that the hometown hero Chip Hanauer will not be racing this week, the reason is his back is still bothering him from last week's flip in Tri-Cities. The boat went upside down, Chip hurt his back and his neck. He tried in qualifying to race the Miss Pico, but couldn't get the steering straight. His back still bothering him, so he bows out. And Greg Hopp, the rookie driver having such a fantastic year, will step into the Miss Pico as their new backup driver. My partner, Steve Montgomery, caught up with Chip yesterday to discuss the events. Well, I'm not 100%. I've got a bad back and bad neck, and un under normal circumstances, I think I could have done it, but the boat's got some torque in the wheel, meaning the boat's trying to veer left, and if I was healthy, I think I could deal with it, but I'm not, so I think it's best we put somebody that's 100% in there who can deal with that little problem. And now we welcome in my partner, Steve Montgomery, and Steve, Chip not driving Miss Pico this weekend, Greg Hopps stepping in for him is not the only driver change we have this weekend. Well, that's right, Rich. We learned earlier this season that it would be the last for Steve David. It was his farewell tour. He surprised the Seafair press conference on Tuesday by telling us that he had met with owner Jim Harvey and had voiced his concerns about business and professional matters and, uh, and some personal issues as well, wanted to go back to Fort Lauderdale now. So Steve David will not be driving the U2 Freddy's Club this weekend. That's bad news as we all like Steve David a lot and wish him well in his future endeavors, but the good news is they've got a good driver in Mark Tate stepping in. The driver who started with Jim Harvey in the late 80s was Mark Tate, who later became the 1997 driving champion, driving for Steve Woomer in the camel-powered Smoke and Joe, the Winston Eagles, put up a lot of victories. He's been on the beach recently. A phone call to Mark. He's here in the boat, and he will be driving the U2 Freddy's Club today. Last week in Tri-Cities, Mark Evans and Jerry Hale marked their return to hydroplane racing. This week, it's Mark Tate. Should make for an interesting weekend of racing from Seattle. And let's get right to qualifying, and in the Freddy's Club is Mark Tate qualifying fifth. Big story, having Tater back, and he did have a decent day in qualifying, but not spectacular. And Mark Evans in the Elam Plus qualifying third. Then there's Chip Hanauer driving the Pico to a number two qualifying post. Started the weekend in the boat, then of course had to step out. And Dave Vilwalk, a second consecutive course record. He set one in Tri-Cities. He does the same here in Seattle. Dr. Ken Muscatel's pink and purple tire factory qualified 10th, just over 134. We're all ready for our Heat 3A lineups, and let's take a look at them, Steve. Heat 3A will feature a more modern version of this boat, the Miss Budweiser. He'll be joined by the York International and Miss Pico with Greg Hopp in the cockpit, Rich. Misco Bowling, Appy and Geronimo, and Graham Trucking United Furniture round out the 3A participants. In Heat 1, Miss Budweiser taking the win with Pico and Greg Hopp chasing him all the way. The rookie giving it a pretty good ride, but of course not able to catch Dave Vilwak, one of the all-time greats in Miss Budweiser. Vilwak averaging 140.491 to win Heat 1B. Good start for your day. Yeah, so far so good. Another 400 points for the World Championship in this Ralph's Las Vegas Tour. Vilwak's obviously got his game face on early on, and in Heat 2, it was more of the same. Another easy win. Early Heat's very important to the Budweiser team because every time they pick up 400 points, that's a big step toward another national championship. Certainly a great weekend so far for Bernie Little's team, but a lot of racing still to come. It's not so rare that Miss Budweiser and Dave Vilwak have 800 points and two wins after the first two heats of the day. What is rare is that the crew is working extremely hard on tinkering with this boat and trying to find that perfect combination, even though they have two perfect wins so far on Lake Washington. The lake waters are getting choppier as the day goes on. The temperature is constantly changing. So Dave Vilwak told me they're still trying to find that perfect combination to take them into heat three and then the finals. Rich Greg Hopp driving Fred Leland's Miss Pico has had a good day so far. He ran a very aggressive second place and then won his second heat. He has 700 points on the day. He is driving very hard, very aggressively, and now he has drawn Dave Vilwalk and the Budweiser again. Again, this should be a preview perhaps of the final. We'll see how young Greg Hopp does in this one. Looking back again at Heat 1B, the only lead Greg Hopp had was early. But he's on the outside. It's the rookie on the outside, the veteran on the inside, and you know who's going to win a matchup like that. A good effort, though, by Greg Hopp. 
relegated to second place and running back in the very, very rough water behind the leader, Dave Vilwalk. Yeah, well, you know, you get back in that rough water and it, it slops up a little bit. You know, if we're out in front, and it would ride a lot better. So we'll just try to put it out front. And he, too, B. Hop had Mark Weber in the York to deal with early. And once again, the young driver found himself with a very, very fast boat, an experienced driver on his left. It did take some time, Rich. It was a great boat race, but eventually the Pico would prevail in this one. And here, you see him going by Mark Weber. Mark getting a little loose there in the straightaway speed by the Miss Pico prevailing as they go into the turn. Hop gets the lead going into that turn and coming out of it, he extends that lead. And that's a great job by a rookie driver of carving a nice arc there in lane two. From there, he cruises to the victory in heat 2B, his first win in the Miss Pico. Normally, the Miss Pico crew plays the percentages between heats two and three and tries to find that perfect combination to give them a little extra juice going towards heat three and in the finals. Because of the logistics here at Lake Washington, there's not a lot of time between heats two and heat three for them to make any changes. And you got to think they'd want to make changes now because they just found out that they've drawn Miss Budweiser in heat three. Yet, they've got a win and a second place going in. Greg Hopps driving it better as the day goes on and they're happy with the way the boat's running, so they're going to keep it as is going into Heat 3. Here's a look at Mark Weber in the York International Pizza Time boat, conferring with his wife and coach, Lori, as he's getting ready for his boat to get out on the water, and so far today, he's had a good day. Back in Heat 1A, a nice draw for this team. No Pico, no Budweiser. Mark Weber cruising to a rather easy victory over Mark Tate and the Freddy's Club back in Heat 1A. And in the heat, you just saw a second place finish in 2B. So a first and a second equals 700 points, doing very well for Mark Weber going into heat three and looking to lock up a place in the front line in the finals. Mitch Evans and Jerry Rises Appy and Geronimo is licking his wounds after an incident with Jerry Hopp in heat 2A. He has 394 points on the day, but look at this. Jerry Hopp on the outside hits those rollers, deflects to the left, and hits the Appy and Geronimo, damaging both boats and creating a lot of work for these two pit crews who had a very, very busy day trying to keep these two hydroplanes afloat so they could finish this event. Seems like Jerry Hop got the worst of that exchange, only 264 points coming in, and he'll be sitting out Heat 3A due to a minor knee injury sustained when he made contact with the Appian. Mike Hansen, the Misco Bowling, has only 222 points after a sixth place finish in 1B, fifth place in 2A. He'll need to score big here in the upcoming heat. Those are some of the other boats to look for in heat 3A, but the ones to chase, Bernie Little and Miss Budweiser. Bernie's given Dave Vilwalk some advice as Chip Hanauer looks on as Greg Hopp prepares for battle in the Pico. Heat 3A coming up next.